Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 26 of my SPSS tutorial videos here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible and you guys could help me massively by just simply leaving a like. That's all I'm asking. So today we're going to take a look at correlation, but this time not a regular correlation, but a partial correlation. And this is the case when you want to know the, cor the correlation, so the relationship between two variables, or maybe even more variables, but that you know that there is a confounder in this model. So we're going to use the same data, data set as I used for the uh, confounder videos of multiple linear regression in video 13 and 14. So confounder basically means that besides your two depend, besides your independent and dependent variable, uh, that there's also a third variable which interacts with both these variables and therefore uh, uh, yeah, disturbs the true relationship you're looking for. And in this case, the real relationship we're looking for is between ice creams and sunburns. So if you eat more ice creams in a month, that you will get more sunburns in a month. That's the relationship we're looking for. But the confounder in this case is temperature. Because if the temperature rises, you eat more ice cream. And if the temperature rises, you get more sunburns. So the temperature is a huge confounder because it has a big impact on the relationship between ice cream and sunburn. And to show you guys how to do it, I'll first do a regular, uh, I'll first do a regular correlation with these three variables. So you go to analyze, correlate, first of all, bivariate. And then we select the three variables, select them like this, and then you press paste. And if you didn't have a, a, a syntax screen open, it will open now. Then you press run selection, and then you get the correlations uh, table uh, between the three variables. And we can now see that the relationship between ice cream and sunburn is 0.936, which is really really high it's it's too high it's, it's because i've made up this data set i mean uh, a correlation this high isn't okay but we can see that there's a true relationship between ice cream and sunburn of 0.936 so that would make you think that those two are heavily related to each other it means that if ice cream goes up that sunburn goes up as well so if you eat more ice creams you would get more sunburns and that's actually not really the case. It doesn't really matter how many ice creams you eat or how many sunburns you get. So that's why we're going to do a, a, a partial correlation with temperature as a confounder. And you go to analyze, correlate, because this time you select partial. And the two variables we still want a correlation about are the ice cream and the sunburn. And you're controlling for... So you're taking all the effects of temperature out of the model. It uh, neutralizes the effect of temperature. Then you press paste. Then you go to your syntax screen. You select the uh, you select the uh, the li lines of coding. And you press the big green play button. And now you can see at the lowest partial correlation table that if we control for control for temperature that then the correlation between ice cream and sunburn is only 0.121 and it isn't significant because it's above the alpha of 0.05 so apparently temperature is a huge confounder in this model which is quite logical and we even found out that there is no significant correlation between ice cream and sunburn even though if we did a regular correlation it would appear that there is a very, very significant relationship. But because we did a partial correlation, we neutralized the effect of temperature on these two variables. So therefore only the true, uh, the true um, relationship between the two actual variables remains. So if you think that you have a confounder, then always do a partial correlation for the two uh, 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 for the two variables you want to know the correlation for and then control it. So uh, add as a, as a confounding, so as a control variable you add your confounder, so temperature. 
Okay, so that was it for today. A really short episode, but I don't think partial correlation is that difficult. If you still struggle with the uh, with understanding what a confounder means, then I recommend watching episode 13 of my YouTube series because over there I explain uh, yeah, a little bit more detailed what a confounder actually is. But for now guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have any questions on this topic or any other topic, then leave it in the comment section down below. And I answer almost always on the same day, but especially in the same week. And for now guys, I'm out. Bye.